Well, I, I'm asked why bar charts instead of some of the other popular uh, and historically uh, well-established methods of analysing markets, the three being in question, the three uh, with great historical background are point and figure, um, bar and candlesticks. I'm asked, why, is, why, is the, why, why do I choose bar charts rather than the other two? Let's start with the distinction between bar and candlesticks. Both methods of looking and understanding price action, long established, candlesticks from the Far East, bar charts in the West, both represent and use exactly the same information and represent it much the same way, but there's a difference in emphasis. Bar chart emphasis, it's a visual difference. Bar charts essentially emphasize the change between days and candlesticks tend to emphasize the change uh, within a day. And the reason for that is that bar charts, uh, candlesticks tend to emphasize the, um, the movement within the day uh, from open to close and bar charts tend to move, d uh, emphasizes the movement between the days from close to close. It's a matter of um, individual preferences to which you choose. For the most part, I tend to think, rather than if I were a very short-term trader, I might tend to start looking at candlesticks more. Bar charting is more suited to the longer-term trader. It is also the simplest form of analysis to access for a newcomer. And its complexity, which certainly exists, can be built up upon layer upon layer, just as you wish. I know there is a, um, shall we say, an exotic attraction for some in the West, for the, the ancient wisdom of the East, uh, represented by candlesticks, and the multiplicity of uh, interesting um, patterns that candlestick, uh, Japanese candlestick charting historically has come up with. None of those patterns are unique to, chart, to candlesticks. All of them can be found in the bar charts, should, if you think they're important. All of them have their um, equivalent in terms of reading psychology in bar charting. So there's nothing unique about the patterns in candlesticks. Uh, it is simply the emphasis of intraday movement and intra-day uh, uh, inter movement. Candlesticks are popular because they're visually attractive, bluntly. Um, there is, there's no question about it, something uh, um, visually, they're visually attractive. There's lots of colour on, on a candlestick chart and the colour changes. The colour changes according to whether the, close to clo uh, the market opened higher than it, clo uh, it closed higher than it uh, opened or it um, closed lower than it opened and you have had these lovely greens and reds. There is also an attraction of the exotic and all these lovely hanging men and bizarre black clouds, white clouds, all the rest of it, which tends to attract Westerners, has done for centuries. Uh, it's illusory. It, 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 I don't think it, there's nothing there that you can't find from a bar chart. It's more attractive. So the benefits for a bar chart over a candlestick chart is uh, um, better for a term trader, for a longer term trader, because close to close is more important than the inter uh, uh, into bar movement and um, simplicity and accessibility and the layers of complexity can be built up gradually. Now the third great um, means of analysing the markets with, with a great historical track record uh, is point and figure. And point and figure is developed specific, for the specific purpose of spotting breakouts from con long, long congestion periods. So the point about it spots the breakout. So for floor traders, it's more suited for floor traders than for anybody else. It's for people who want to get in and out quickly. They're looking for breakouts as opposed to trend followers. And my sort of analysis, the term analysis over a period of trading days or trading weeks or trading months is principally led by the notion of trends and following trends. And this is really a short term traders way of spotting breakouts it can be done long term, but it's it's its first and foremost and most profitable use is in the trading pits years ago. In the 80s, I was in Chicago. The traders would be jostled to and fro and they'd be doing their circles and crosses on their trading cards and they'd be looking for those breakouts. And that's where it originated and I think that's where it's best used.